love bugs is rosalind back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time coming to my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning selves my growing extended family just thank you for the love and support that you've been giving yourself and you're giving others as well as giving me you know i know those days are get they get frustrating when you have good days and you also have bad days you have low frequency and you also have high frequencies as well so you know knowing throughout those things we can still seek out a you know positive thing for throughout those days <laughs> and uh you know just be grateful for them you whether or not they're good experiences or bad we always supposed to be grateful for anything we have in our lives because you know they're all sort of a purpose so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already you know please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video and if you feel like you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback the content of my video or you're just uh, tell me about your impact again and how it impacted your life and you towards positive direction also if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or just good information you would love to share with a loved one or a friend especially if they truly need it at this point just give them validation for the things that they're going through please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for you know stopping by my channel and giving love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today um, let me turn this up just a little bit so you can be able to hear it. I don't want these good vibes coming towards y'all. Um, so I'm just trying to make sure it's not too loud or annoying if it's like, you know, because I know I, what I hear. But, you know, coming off of my computer, because I'm doing it through my laptop. I don't have the, you know, fancy computer, you know, fancy camera or all that fancy microphone that, you know, some of these YouTubers be making. So um, I use what I got. Okay, um, my video that I'm using today, my meditation video that I'm using for today is called Man Manifest Abundance Music, uh, Nic Nicola T Tesla, Pyramid Universe Magic, Numbers of Manifestation, 369, Sophie Go, and I will post that link in the descri ugh, description box below, I don't know how I got tongue tied off of that. Um, but my video today is about Twin Flame 101. When you feel like giving up and all hope is gone, this video is for you. You know, we all go through these situations like we're heading towards our dreams and heading towards certain things that we want in life. And it can be really frustrating. And, you know, you probably would be on social media, if, especially if you see a lot of uh, positive posts or whatever or motivational videos other than mine. You know, you might see it. I know I'm on Facebook. I don't have Twitter or Snapchat or anything like that. So one day I'll have it. But it just seems like all the energy from different social medias. Sometimes I have to back away from Facebook because it can be too much. So it's just like having all those extra ones. You know, I know I have one day, but right now I just don't deal with it right now. Um, I always see a lot of uh, motivational videos or I try to put out positive posts for myself. There are some people that are connected through Facebook to me, you know, so I try to send out as much positivity, you know, even if I'm not doing videos that day, I try to send people, especially I'm connected to on Messenger, if I do one-on-ones with them and we do chats and everything, I always try to send them like positive meditations or if they're going through something, just validations on you're not the only one going through this. You know, this is how you deal with certain situations. I always love to do that, especially if something has helped me. Um, like, I've had these videos that Trent Shelton has helped me with. Uh, Infinite Waters. Uh, a couple of y'all probably heard of them. Um, I forgot the one that has the laws of attraction. I forgot him. Uh, there's so many different ones. I know the monk, the Indian monk. Well, he used to be a monk. J uh shady shiti shiti i think that's his name um he has helped me out a lot of things but it's just like we have, there's days i wanted to give up i'm not even gonna lie i mean but it's just like y'all keep me going it's like days when i feel like you know am i doing enough um am i helping out people you know the way they need to be helped am i sending out validations for them to know these things are coming into their lives or these things are ending in their lives 
you know, um, there's days that I felt like all hope is gone. You know, we're all, none of us are going to have good days. I mean, every day, good day. <laughs> you know, we're not. You're going to have our hard days. We're going to have days where we just want to throw in the towel, kick the bucket. But then you have to look at the situation that you're in right now. You know, when you don't know where the future is, that can be a scary feeling to deal with change. Especially if you've been in a situation for so long and you finally say, you know, it's enough, it's enough. But then it comes, you know, when you have blessings towards that way, you don't know how many people have gave up on their situations and did not realize they were this close to blessings and they turned around and went the other way because it took too long. It was on, they were impatient. They were unsure about themselves or unsure about the universe. That's when you have to take a leap of faith. You know, we go through things and we just want to throw our hands up and say, I've had it. You know, enough is enough. Be crying. Get uh, upset, pissed off, confused. You know, that's when you pose to have faith. Knowing, you know, a lot of us, and I've gotten that way too. I'm a Taurus. So I'm, impa I'm impatient and tor uh, stubborn as I don't know what. But I know with my situation when I'm like, oh God, it takes too long. But then I have to keep telling myself, yeah, it might take too long for you but there's a reason why it's taking this long you know there's you're not looking at it the way you're supposed to be looking at it. you're too busy worried about the future instead of worrying about what's going on right now what this moment is te teaching you right now you know we can't sit up here and dwell on the past because the past is the past you can't dwell on the future because the future ain't got here yet you know you might be worried about tomorrow and tomorrow ain't even here yet you got to worry about what's going on today what is today trying to teach you what did yesterday teach you you know, we have to go through those situations and look how far you have came. You're not the same person you were like two years ago. I'm when I, especially on Facebook, if you got memories and stuff like that, uh, I look at certain things that I've used to post, and I used to post some negative things talking about, you know, the friends in my life that deserted me. Especially when I started this journey out after I lost my father, when people finally found out situations about me, especially people that know me for years, and they're like, "You never told me this." I was like, well, I told you enough, but I didn't tell you everything. I tell people there's a lot of things you don't know about me. Even though it used to be, I used to be a little, you know, a little motor mouth and didn't keep stuff to myself. Now it was just like there were certain things I did because they were too painful to talk about. Things that I didn't have proof of. I didn't want to go pop off saying anything, but then come to find out the proof was always there, you know. And it was just like I lost a lot of friends for that, but that was the people that had to be out my life in the first place, you know. So there's a lot of times we feel like when we're on our journey, we feel abandoned. We feel neglected. You know, people that you have been there for and went to bat for won't even cross a puddle for you. You know, tough times show you true intentions of people. And I tell people that, you know, I've seen people say, you know, I went to bat for this person, this person, this person, and I did all this and this and that. And when it came time for my time, you know, they weren't there. And they're like, okay, you know what? You can't be mad about that. And even though it's in our human nature to be mad about stuff like that because I, I always have to tell people you have to think not everybody's going to go go through the same thing go at approach things the way you will people don't have the same heart as you do you know you wouldn't have did that but who's going to be guaranteed somebody else is going to do that but it's just like you have to be able to accept them people for all you are you know if they don't want to sit up here and contribute to your shine that's fine but when you get to that shine and they're trying to come back you need to not let them back in because it was like they weren't there through them rough times. You know, there's people I want to sit here and talk about and vent to, but my situation was either they didn't want to believe it or either they they got jealous of the situation or they just didn't give a damn. They're like, okay, I'm going through my own stuff. We are all going through our own things. You know, we might need somebody to go ahead. Yeah, we do not might, but we do need people we need to talk to about certain situations. And, you know, you can vent to, you know, it's always good to have that trusted friend that, you know, it's going to be biased towards your situation or try to help you grow through that situation. And there are certain times we're going to have to just deal with that on our own because things are too precious that you can't allow people in on those situations because they can either have, you know, opinions about it or their own vibes about it, or they just ain't going to want to see you get it at all. So they're going to try any and everything to keep you from getting where you need to go. So there's sometimes you have to be keeping that to yourself. I had to learn that on my own. I had to learn this through this whole process. There are certain things people don't need to know. You know, it's on a need to know basis. Like, you know, I could be talking to somebody and they ask me a certain question. It's like not to be mean or anything, but I can't talk about that. And I, you know, I just leave it at that. You know, there are certain things I can't talk about. So, uh, 
And there's times people that have been here and asked me certain things. Oh, yeah, I'm going to tell y'all now that I'm, this is my last video for today. Um, th This video is going to be for Sunday anyway, or whenever it does decide to come out, because I know I got like about nine, eight, nine videos <laughs> uh, loading up right now back to back. So whenever y'all do see this, please don't solicit on my, 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 um, my videos. Uh, I had to block a couple of people that wants to sit up here. You can't leave a comment about my video, but you're asking me to share this and share that, but you can't even drop a line. You know, to say how you appreciate the video or what message you got out of the video, what lessons you got out of the video or what it taught you. But you want me to share something or you want somebody to buy something. I'm going to delete your, your comment if you do that. So I'm not, I don't go there, you know, because I think that's very rude, especially if you're not asking somebody, is it OK if I share this on on your comment section? If you, you know, you contact me and I agree with it, I wouldn't mind. But, you know, at least be respectable enough to say, oh, you know, I love this video, this and this and that. And then you make another comment saying, oh, uh, well, can you please go buy this? You know, I had to delete folks like that because that really worked my nerves. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll just let y'all know that. But when we go through things like that, just look how far you have came. Just look how far you have. You know, you're not the same person you were last year. You have to look at the situation you are. You have healed so much. Even though this road to really is not going to be easy. Whatever you want in life. I have to tell my daughter that because she gets frustrated about certain projects she's doing. And I'm so proud of her because she's came so long. It's so so long and so hard. You know, she came so far. And I tell her, you know, I have to tell myself every day I have to give me that pep talk. When you are not where you exactly where you want to be right now. Anything that's easy is not worth having. And anything that's hard, you know to get is is going to be definitely worth having you know because if you get something easy it's not going to last long you know the things that you got to go through trial tribulations blood sweat and tears just and believe when you finally get that you don't pray for one thing and universe and god don't bless you with ten thousand other things that you aren't even prepared to even get you won't get so many blessings you're going to get overwhelmed with the blessings you're getting so know that you're going through a certain situations and certain gauntlets for a reason and knowing is not just lead you astray because a lot of times we feel like oh god done sit up here and i had me lose my job i had me do this i had me do that and i know those are messed up situations you know and you feel like he's abandoned you but he when they're taking things out of your life as he's preparing to bring something something totally big and amazing coming towards your life that you didn't even imagine so keep going don't give up don't feel like all hope is gone you know i know it's hard to see right now but there are certain situations you had to go through to get taken away up from people had to come out your life you know people had to leave you because they couldn't be on this journey with you you know there's a lot of times i felt like people abandoned me when they found out who i was related to or they abandoned me because of the situation i was going through it was too much for them you know when they started seeing and there's a lot of people that wanted me to suffer and i didn't suffer the way they wanted me to and, you know, I keep going because it's like this thing that I'm going through is such a big blessing to me. Even though it don't put me through so much hell, it don't brought me so many positive impacts in my life that I'm so very grateful for. It. When I can sit up here and help somebody else because I didn't have anybody to help me go through these things. I had universe and my dad, you know, helping me spiritually and metaphysically to be able to lead me towards certain things. It was blessings that things were handed to my lap. There was people that I met on things I wasn't sure about and they validated for things that I was hearing that I needed to hear from somebody else. So trust and believe the right people are going to come into your life that needs to be there. And other people are going to be out your life that definitely doesn't need to be there. But just don't give up on something that you truly know you cannot go a day without thinking about. Remember that. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. Uh, much love and lights and out as much love, positivity as you possibly can. This is my last video, y'all. And it's the art that I took over 14 minutes. So I'm not giving a post notification shout out for that one. I'll probably do it on my next video. Well, I'm going to do it on my next video, definitely. So I hope y'all have a blessed day weekend. Hopefully y'all get this on Sunday because anything over 14 minutes, Lord, it takes about five or six hours to come out. So <laughs> I will see y'all whenever this next video comes out because I'll be probably doing some more videos then. This is like my eighth video and I'm tired and I'm worn out. So much love to you. Peace. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line. Give me a thumbs up. Like and even share. Wherever social media, wherever you see fit. Stay blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And I'll see you next week.